This evening, we got to look at the hundreds of things police say were stolen. Good evening, I'm Ann Nyberg. And I'm Darren Kramer. Police have made two arrests now. They say more are coming. And tonight, we want to show you their haul and make sure you know how to protect your place from burglars. This is Bob Wilson has been working this story tonight. He's live in studio with more. Bob? Yeah, Darren and Ann, you know, at first you think it's a couple of towns. We saw a couple of pictures and some sheds getting hit. But when you take a look at all of this stuff, I mean, this is just one of the photos they released here, and it is a lot of things. I mean, take a good look at this. It's also on WTNH.com because Maybe this is some of your stuff here. And how do you protect yourself, especially when they're going right off the highway into the neighborhoods and taking your stuff right out of your garage or shed? Look at all of this stolen stuff. Toolboxes, chop saws, lawn equipment, vacuum, snow blowers. The list is long as police break up a major theft ring operating in the New Haven area. Police say the thieves were using the 9195 Merritt corridor to get in and out of neighborhoods quickly. And the problem is most of the people that are doing this are not local. You know, and they're coming from out of the area. The burglary ring has been hitting sheds and garages in Milford, West Haven, New Haven, North Haven, Orange, Brantford. They have made two arrests and are looking for a third man. It doesn't take long. All you have to do is drive up and down streets and you can see garage doors open, snow blowers sitting right there. So how do you protect yourself when houses all around you are being hit? Dale Drive, uh, which is the store street next to mine, had been uh, sheds and garages getting hit. Uh, over the past week or so. Police say one of the best ways to protect yourself is remember out of sight, out of mind. If you have the lawnmower, don't leave it on the side of the house or in a garage door where the garage door is up. They say put it in the shed, lock the shed, and then put a padlock right on the outside. When they see that padlock, it's too much work, too much effort, and they'll move on down the street to somebody else. Just lock everything up, you know. I got, uh, I got a dog that'll make noise if he hears anything, and, uh, you know, I keep a baseball bat under my bed. Now, they don't believe these thieves were exclusively working in this New Haven area. They could have traveled a little bit further north into Wallingford, possibly Meriden, Middletown area. So if you have had something, lawn equipment similar to this stolen out of your shed or garage, contact your local police and they will start the process to try and have it recovered.